So let's now look at the third part of the spreadsheet question from the 2023 Higher Admin IT assignment. If you recall, we went into pay rates and we had to do a nested if or the ifs function to calculate the percentage to get the new hourly rate. We had to bring the new hourly rate into the gross pay sheet column F using a VLOOKUP and then make some changes as per the comments. And in this third and last sheet, analysis, you'll see from the question, analysis of the breakdown of wage costs. So this time looking to summarize from all the departments to find the count number of employees and then find the total pay. So this is going to be a count if in column B and a sum if in column C. So let's start with column B and the count if. In cell B3, let's just type in equals count if to bring it up. Again, I suggest we go into formula and insert function to bring up the box here. The first thing we're looking for is the range. Essentially, we're looking down through the list of departments from all the staff who work um, who work there. So into the gross pay sheet, we're switching sheets and we want to highlight from C3 down to uh, C30. I did control shift arrow down to do that quickly. We're having to fix that into place, lock that into place because we are going to be copying this down. Criteria specifically, we're looking for administration. If return four, that looks about right. Click on OK, go back up and then copy down. To get the total gross pay based on each department, this time in C3 equals sum if, open bracket, again, go to formulas, insert function, the range is the same. We've got to go back to the gross pay sheet and we've got to highlight the entire range of the departments and locking that into place. The criteria, again, we start with um, administration in A3. That's why we're not fixing it into place. It has to run down relatively. Some range is going back into the gross pay. We do have in column um, J, we did work out the gross pay for everybody. So again, from J3, control shift down to take us down to the bottom and fix that into place. And I can see it is returning a value there, 1197.63. And again, we'll just copy this down. To work out what, what are these values as a percent of total gross pay it is the dividing equals the total gross pay for administration in C3 divided by forward slash the total. We're going to keep referring to the total as we copy down. So we have to lock C8 into place. Just C8. Click on enter. It has already been formatted as a percentage. We can just go down and copy that. So that is how we finish off the last part, the third sheet um, in the first question in that assignment.